I'm Bob Brecka. I'm in the physics department at the University of Dayton, and I am also a professor in the Renewable and Clean Energy graduate program and coordinate the Sustainability Energy and the Environment Initiative. But aside from those uh, occupations, I also have an interest and have had a long interest in astronomy and the history of astronomy and partly in how some astronomical thinking has provided examples for the scientific method, how we even think about science and how science develops over time. Clearly by taking the telescope, and I, I always think of this myself as, as if you're an academic and somebody has given you this new instrument that nobody else has and you're the first one to be able to turn it loose on whatever your area of study is, you've just got this whole field open to you. You've got everything open. Everything you do is by definition new. He's, he took that telescope and within a fairly short time span of a couple of months was looking at Venus and the phases of Venus. He was looking at the surface of the moon. He, was, he found and saw the, the moons of Jupiter. He looked at, the, at Saturn and saw that it had funny ears, which turned out to be the rings that we're more familiar with. Everything he looked at was new because nobody had had the power to expand their eyesight beyond what our bare eyes can do. He had a new tool that, that allowed him to, to extend the eye to a new, new regime. So this idea of using a tool to, to look at the universe, it's not, it wasn't uncontroversial there's a complicated step between saying, okay, I've got a tube with two lenses in it, and now I'm going to hold it up and look somewhere. Can I believe what I'm seeing? This was this idea of using those observations and then trusting the observations was, was one of the things that, that Galileo did. Again, he was going against Aristotelian physics. Um, he was doing tests, even if whether it's true or not, the dropping of objects from the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the... These were experiments. They were real experiments to not just say, okay, we know that a heavier object falls faster than a lighter object, or we know that things tend to go towards the center of the earth or the surface of the earth. Whatever the teaching was, he was saying, no, let's just start by looking at the, the phenomena themselves. Let's do experiments and understand these laws of motion that something accelerates, it moves faster in every time period if it's, if it's falling through space or if it's running down a ramp. He made the measurements. He did the measurements and he understood how to, how to set up good measuring apparatus to put together uh, a story of how nature was working.